on in this video, I wanted to discuss some of the organisms that can affect the large intestine, the large bowel, or also known as the colon. Uh, particularly, uh, I wanted to discuss uh, the area of the cecum and the TI, which is the terminal ileum. We have tympholitis, tuberculosis, and amoebiasis. And the important thing about this is that really we won't, uh, as patients, we won't recognize this, but this is something that the radiologist can detect. For example, when they're doing a CAT scan of your abdomen and pelvis, they can detect some inflammation that's more prominent in a certain area. And based on that, they can alert uh, your other doctors about what organism can possibly be uh, affecting you. So this is a nice illustration in which we can review some of the common organisms that affect specific areas. For example, in the right colon, which would include the cecum, a more general area here, we have Yersinia, Salmonella, and Entamoeba histolytica. And this is an example in, in the CT where we could see uh, thickening, wall thickening around this area, and that could alert us that um, this is the organism affecting this region. In the left colon, Shigella and Schistosomiasis are two common organisms that come to mind. Uh, in, in terms of sigmoid, we have HCV, which is herpes simplex virus. We have gonorrhea and we have chlamydia. There's a little typo here. Uh, and however, in terms of affecting the entire colon, that's called pancolitis, and that will be Clostridium difficile, C. diff, commonly referred to in the, in the medical uh, jargon, CMV, which is a virus and E. coli. So th th uh, these three organisms are known to affect the entire colon. And again, these are just some generalizations. In, in reality, we cannot be 100% sure uh, that these organisms are going to affect this particular area. And uh, sometimes you can have some crossover. But I think it illustrates uh, some of the things that happen uh, behind the scenes when your radiologist is interpreting your CAT scan. And based on certain regions and certain uh, context clues, they can determine or have a, a higher probability of narrowing the scope of what organism could be causing an infection in the bowel. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe.